it's Timmy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today we're making an old time favorite, good old lemon lush, with that toasty pecan crust on the bottom, and those layers of cream cheese and lemon jello pudding. Are y'all ready for this one? It's gonna be good. <music> we're making something really good lemon lush uh, now the original recipe doesn't ask you to use a real lemon but we're gonna put a little bit in there just to make it over the top okay the first thing you're gonna do is make your crust and you're going to use one cup of all-purpose flour and of course I'm using my trusted white lily so we're gonna use a cup of flour we're gonna use this is a stick of margarine, and of course you can use butter if that's what you choose. But you know the original recipe is in the day of margarine. Back when everybody used it. Alright. And once I blend these two things together until they're crumbly, we're using our wonderful blending fork. You can see how quick that works goes right through that fork. Don't get stuck in there like a pastry blender does. The one with all the little prongs that shape like a horseshoe kind. This thing is amazing. Most people that have ordered this blending fork are super glad that they did. So what we're doing is we're just blending this butter into this flour well. Then we're going to add a half a cup of pecans half a cup of chopped pecans and let's get this mixed in there good this is a 2.75 quart Pyrex dish I choose this one because it's clear and it's pretty to put a layered dessert in all right so we're going to put this down in the bottom we're going to get this in the oven and we're going to bake it at 350 degrees So you're just going to spread it in the bottom of your Pyrex dish. Now you can use, or your baking dish, you can use any baking dish. You can use a 13 by 9. If you use the 13 by 9, it's going to be thinner, so bake it 15 to 20 minutes. But since mine is going in this dish that's not as quite as large on the bottom, I'm going to bake mine. 25 minutes because I actually like this to be toasty and the pecans to be nice and toasty in my lemon lush. Get every bit in there. All right, we're getting this in the oven. Okay, this has cooled down. It's time to start our lemon lush. We're going to start with our cream cheese layer and we are going to put in an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Mine is actually the lower fat kind. You're going to use one cup of powdered sugar. And you're gonna mix that really good. This lower fat cream cheese is not as stiff as regular cream cheese. So now we're going to add a cup of Cool Whip. I'm just using about half of it. So you're going to buy an 8 ounce container of Cool Whip. And that cream cheese really is not as stiff. So if you're going to make this for a crowd or for company, you may want to use the real thing and not get the lower fat cream cheese like I did. Of course, once it gets cold, it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna enjoy it regardless. All right, we're gonna spread this out. This is our second layer. 
And I like to make this, like I said, in a clear dish, and that way you can see the layers as you build them. All right. You're going to use three cups of milk and two packages of pudding mix. I'm making a mess. I should have wore an apron. Now I've got it on my shirt. I guess you're not having fun in the kitchen if you're not making a mess. All right, are y'all ready? Now it's splattered a little bit. Now you can just let it sit here for a minute because it's going gonna, it's gonna to thicken up a little bit and then we'll mix it some more before we make too big of a mess. And while we're waiting on that to thicken a little bit, we will wipe off the scouter for one, and then we're going to um, get some zest off this lemon and put a little bit of lemon juice in it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of zest in between the layer, and then we'll use a little zest on the top as well. And now this is not required. It's not a part of the original recipe. But if you're going to make something lemon, why not go ahead and give it a punch? with some real lemon, right? I need to cut this lemon open and juice it. So I may as well get a little bit more zest off of it for the top. That should be enough for decor. I'm gonna cut the little nubs off of it. A handy dandy lemon squeezer. Try this one. We're going to cut us a thin slice of lemon for the top of the dessert. And then we're going to squeeze this into our pudding. And I think it's just going to make our lemon lush even better. Then Mama's. Because Mama didn't do this to hers. It's going to be good. See, it's already set up. We're going to get this mixed in there. Wait a minute. I see a seed right there. All right. Now, if you're wondering, will it still set up? Of course it will, because... <laughs> I don't use this that much, can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to need a bath. Can you believe I just did that? Don't y'all just love watching my show? It's crazy. <laughs> Mama didn't have one of them, and they're kind of new to me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, one pack of lemon pudding um, can set up with pudding. Uh, I think you put in two cups of cold milk. So two packs, you could have used four. We only used three, and so it makes it a little bit thicker for a pie, and that lemon juice is not going to hurt it a bit. All right, we're, we're going to get this in our container. It's our next beautiful level. I'm going to taste it with that lemon in there and just see how it tastes. Here, I better spread it first. Before I put my luscious lips on it since we're making lemon lush. Oh, ain't that pretty? All right. It's delish. Delish! Okay. This is Cool Whip. We're just gonna make it pretty, y'all. And spread it over the top. If you do not have a piping bag, 
So this is just the rest of the Cool Whip that was in my Cool Whip canister. A lot of people ask us, can we use whipping cream? I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. It, I don't think whipping cream will stay set up like this for as long as Cool Whip. So uh, use it at your own risk, I guess is what I would have to say. Okay, and when you take your, you just take your lemon and cut a slit in one side of it and then just twist it. And that one's kind of fat. So we will make it happen. There it is, our lemon lush. Now we're going to take our lemon uh, zest and sprinkle it. And this is always the hard part when you got a little bit of zest on a paper towel. It all just wants to stick in one spot. So if you got more than one lemon, you can just how that. That's good. <laughs> oh. That's it, y'all. Lemon lush. Does it look lemony good? y'all we are going to cut us a piece of this lemon lush and we've got to get through that bottom and you know the first piece is always the hardest to get out so we're gonna cross our fingers and this thing's not set completely up yet so it's definitely going to be luscious and creamy I cut that big piece and of course it hadn't set up yet and it just was so luscious that it just, the lemon pudding just went everywhere. And me and Chris took a spoon, we ate the sides off of it, and now we just scraped the side to show you how pretty it looks in layer form because that's how it's gonna look after it sets up in the refrigerator. But for time's sake, of course, we had to get a video done for you guys. And boy, is it delicious. We've enjoyed eating it already. Super good. Oh, I just love lemon anything, and lemon is perfect in the summertime. Delicious. Make sure you toast those that bottom like I did for 25 minutes or tw at least 20 to get those pecans nice and toasty because that makes it taste even better. Mmm. I love Cool Whip desserts, just like my mama did. She loved her Cool Whip. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And thanks so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.